the books will be thy redemption! Hey everybody, it's the Gaming Dragon, and welcome back to The Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night. Last time, we made our way to the White Isle, but unfortunately... Let's just say we decided to get the hardest challenge out of the way and take the path of electricity, and, uh... It's not a pleasant one, and now... Do I need to hit these things, or do I need to shock them with electricity? Um... What the... What the... Uh. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do in this part. I don't remember. I do not remember what I need to do here. Oh no. I, uh. I is a lost. I is. Doing a heavy confuse. Am I supposed to hit them with electricity? No, I'm not. I don't remember what I need to do. Somebody tell me. I am incredibly embarrassed to say that I am an idiot. You're supposed to tail strike them. I am so, so, so stupid. I don't know why I didn't think to try that. Uh, it makes me so mad. I should not be that stupid, but apparently I am. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm gonna get some more green magic because I need it because I'm stupid. Why am I so stupid? It's the electricity. That's what it is. The electricity is making me dumber. All right, let's go and get out of this place. I don't want to be in this place anymore.
So now we got the uh, the electric spirit to deal to deal with. He's just like the executioner. Except unlike the Executioner, we're not going to use our elemental abilities on him because they suck. We're just going to kill him. And he did. He did! Gonna kill him and he did. He died. And he did. And it died. Now this has lit up. <laughs> Sorry, I was just cleaning up the entry like, don't leave without me! <laughs> oh, what a boy. Alright. That gets rid of the worst challenge. Now let's see. Which one do I want to take? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do ice next. I like ice, but personally I think earth and fire are much better than ice. So yeah, I thought this was a place they were gonna hide a secret, but I guess not. Hey! Yeah, my face! Oh, here come the little cute noisemakers. Oh, poor little robots. Kill them. Kill the robots. Bap. so stupid today why am I so stupid it's one obvious thing after another and I'm just uh oh don't stun and lock me Am I 
just that bad at aiming? Got it. Alright, that's that. Whoops! Let me get you unstuck there, buddy. Um, I, I hope I didn't just screw myself out of, uh... Because, uh, a little spider crab didn't respawn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I just actually screw myself out of it? Is it not responding? Oh crap. Well. I will see you guys when I get back to that place. Last one. <laughs> hey, spider crab. Make it over there in time, please. No! Well, now another one spawns in. Thank you. Mm. Finally. And I need some magic. 
Alright, and let's climb the box. The magic box. And it was only just one of these guys this time. Down goes the ice spirit. So, with that, is that. Next time on The Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night, we will take on one of the other two challenges. See you guys then. So I've come back to this place for a very special reason, because remember when I mentioned that this was a clue to look under the ice for secrets? Well, the secret I was referring to was literally in this frozen pond. I thought it was in another one, but I was mistaken. So you will know that, um... <coughs> You know, Insomniac, who makes Spyro, has had um, a tad bit of a, I guess, a small rivalry. With another uh, company by name, by the name of Naughty Dog. Have, they've made their own little character that's had several appearances with Spyro in the past. And is going to have, and probably, well, is going to have at this point in time of recording, uh, and probably by the time this recording comes up, will already have uh, in another appearance with Spyro in their most recent kart racing game. Well, that character is known as Crash Bandicoot. Some of you people may know this character, some may not, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you people who had a PlayStation back in the day probably more than likely know this character. Both Spyro and Crash are PlayStation babies. They were created and made for the PlayStation and whatnot. Well, there's a little Easter egg that uh, Insomniac hid down here. If you turn the ice and you look down here, hey, Got a little reference to Crash Bandicoot down here. I, I honestly thought this was in a different uh, pool, but honestly, this was the first time I ever saw Crash Bandicoot and... <laughs> uh, that face. 
just that face. That is just... That is just disturbing. <laughs> so disturbing in so many ways I just ah uh, it's so weird and it's hiding right here you can see him right over there I don't know how I didn't see him how I forgot that he was in this very first pool of frozen water but yeah there's Crash Bandicoot that was the little secret I was hinting towards last episode I forgot he was in this pool <clears throat> I swore he was in another but nope he's right here you just gotta you just gotta look for him. He's right here, right at the beginning of the uh, of the uh, of the White Isle. I wanted to call it the Celestial Isle, but yeah, he's right here in the beginning of the White Isle. He's just chilling here, quite literally. He's chilling because <laughs> it's ice. And since he's underneath the ice and spirals on top of the ice, that totally means that spirals better than Crash. And if you think otherwise, your opinion is invalid. Absolutely invalid. And you know what? I don't, I don't give a crap. Fight me on it if you want to. Spire's better than Crash. Fight me. Fight me.